Hey everyone, it's Cass, and welcome back to another Holocraft SMP episode. We make a lot of building progress and get our shops up and going in this episode. Um, and I changed my terraforming and landscaping several times, so stay tuned for that madness that I just keep doing to myself. But first we start with a lovely gift from J. Aldi, and then Boom and I tackle clearing out the shopping district cave that I failed to do during a prior live stream. 47 deaths now. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is insane. You okay, Mom? <laughs> hey, shush. Don't judge me. Oh, that's cute. So it says, Dearest Cass, thank you so, so much for helping me get an elytra. I really appreciate it. Here are some goodies to say an extra thank you. Okay. Sorry, they're kind of boring. Remember, I'm poor. <laughs> Love, J. Aldi. <laughs> Where are you, Bree? Oh, I am a Oh, wait. Uh, I'll come. I'm on the bridge. I don't know how to fly yet. Oh, are you kidding me? I missed the corner. <laughs> Thinking I'm being all smart. Missed the corner of the water by like not even half an inch. Scam. Did you die? No, almost. I went down to like one and a half hearts. Damn. Let's see where you're placing stuff down. I'm trying to light up over here. This is, I mean, it's not too, too bad. I, I feel like we've gotten it. <gasps> Careful. <laughs> so clearly, I don't know how to jump down into water correctly, but after getting almost blown up several times and fighting off zombie hordes, Boom and I actually light up and clear out the new shopping district spot. Which I claimed I was going to do in that live stream, but last minute wussed out on after Red died twice and lost all of his gear. I just love the way it is all lit up when you're coming down those waterfalls. Um, but before we build our shop though, we have a few more skeleton horses to save. Here we go, it's, it's another one. It's gonna explode in two, three, two. <laughs> oh my God. No, don't kill the horses, please. No, no! <gasps> we got two more! We got two more! <laughs> Yay! And they both gave me enchanted bows. Nice. Come here, one, two leads. Get two new babies! Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so excited I get to I expand! One, two, come on guys! Come on! Go to a new home! Now I really need to build that barn. Because hmm. now I have six. <laughs> Jesus. Now I have six skelly babies. Look guys, I brought more friends! You're gonna love them. Come on, come on. Two new babies. You're cute. You're Muerta. And you are Snickerdoodle. Oh my god. Look at you guys. Look at We got a whole team. Now I got six. And we all know six skeleton horses was not enough.
<laughs> uh, so much fun, look at all these zombies. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, 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 oh. oh. I'm on him. <laughs> and apart from some shenanigans with Boom there with the pillager, we jump straight into building our shop which I don't love the final result, but it is what it is for now. And we even start collecting the first diamonds we've made on our shop so far. And now begins the terraforming that we change so many times. So have fun watching that because <laughs> I'm still going to change it even more. Here comes one of our many changes where we made this entire terraformed, basically this entire hill that I'm now halfway tearing apart to make a flat space and I'll describe a bit more after I'm done putting all these flowers down in these replay sections um, and yeah, I'll give you a whole overview in just a second. So guys, it's been a real minute since I have done an actual in-game kind of voiceover, um, but I wanted to fill you guys in kind of on what I have been working on since between the last time I spoke to you, which has been a while, and the last clip I'm pretty sure was a replay mod. I've been clearly working on a lot which is then going to change again <laughs> so last time none of this wood or waterfall or anything none of these flowers were here this entire hill you know all this goodies right here was coming straight down and then it connected kind of down pretty much to over here where this ends and then i didn't like just the way the hill looked, I feel like it kind of like took away from what I was really trying to do, especially with all of this in the farmland area. So I decided to kind of create this with a little waterfall. It's clearly still being worked on. And then I started laying out all the flowers over here and I really, really don't like it kind of like this chaotic mess. So then I started trying to, whatever you call it, do this with the dirt. Is it tilling the dirt? Is that what you would call it? Shh, that's not too dirt deep. Let's just ignore that. <laughs> but I started trying to till the dirt thinking it would give it more of, uh, I don't really know, a different look just to try it out. You know, I should have tried it with a few instead of doing it with the whole thing <laughs> before <laughs> I decided that I don't like it. 
So instead, I'm planning to actually remove everything, you know, that's down over here. And instead, I'm going to lay out the flowers more kind of like in little six by six or eight by eight or eight by two sections or something. It'll make more sense later. Um, but then put the same kind of colors in little sections. So it just has more of like an organized kind of theme to it. And then I will make kind of like a little pathway up to the center from over here. So I know obviously there's these two big pathways that go up the sides, but I want to just make like a little pathway, you know, that centers up right over here um, because I'm actively, as you can tell with all the dirt um, in my inventory full of it, I'm actively chopping back this hill, you know, just kind of in this portion right here, I plan to leave at least right now this section alone. But on this little plot right here, I'll have to replace the stone. Eventually, this whole plot is going to become a barn for all of my scaly horses. Now, I'm going to do a rib cage barn because uh, I feel like I have to with the fact that they're skeleton horses. You know, I kind of feel like I have to because they are skelly horses. And I feel kind of like that's really what they deserve. And as I'm sure you guys saw, I've actually <laughs> gotten a few more. I don't know what it is about my little spawn area right here. Um, I, we're all not too far from spawn, but apparently just in the flower forest that kind of exists behind me, um, with no more flowers because I kind of took all of them, but shh. Um, but they just seem to really love spawning in this area after a thunderstorm, which I guess is like the perfect situation for them to be able to spawn. So I've <laughs> gotten a lot of them, so I feel like they need a proper home because they are junking up my little space up over there with my villagers because they are taking it over. But currently, apart from chopping this hill back a little bit, I am actually terraforming to kind of bury all this in. And after I'm done with that, eventually I'm going to, you know, turn this whole place into slabs, make sure it's all not spawnable, bring some kind of lighting down from the ceiling. I haven't figured all of that out exactly yet. And then all of those sheep that you saw, I'm going to put over here on a platform, kind of like what exists for my, um, I was going to say sheep, my cows, I was going to say pigs, and I don't have pigs, for my cows and my chickens and my two bro llamas, I'm going to recreate that same kind of like flattened out in between the two staircases right here, which is why you see all this dirt right here. And I'm going to kind of make this little triangle section um, all for my colored sheep. That way they have a place to go. So that way they're not just, you know, chilling right here. So I'm going to taper this hill down right here. I think, let me sleep first. <laughs> can you soap? <laughs> yeah, I can soap. I sure can soap. Um, <laughs> I think also in this area, once I move the sheep, I'm going to create some kind of pond, which is going to take a while. But, you know, I got nothing but time. I'm going to create kind of a pond in this whole section. I'm just going to do it by, you know, putting the the layer of grass, putting the water on top, and then eventually going through and chopping it all back. And then I will make, I think, since the derby, and the derby, you could kind of see where the poppies start right there, and our tomb <laughs> for the other guy. Out this way is Bree and Date. Um, I think AK, Jaldi, and Time are kind of out in this general direction. 
obviously I'm right here behind this mountain is red. You guys have seen his spot. And then out over this way is um, boom. We do have a new member that joined. I have not met him yet, so I'll probably introduce him in the next episode. Um, but that is kind of long-winded over explanation of what I have going on here. Yes, yeah, so I mean, I kind of, kind of, kind of really, really, really have a lot to do still. Um, and it's going to take me some time, but since my shop is built, which hopefully you guys saw in this episode as well, um, I will be able to kind of focus a little bit more here around my home situation. And then that way, once I get the exterior and honestly everything underneath here that I showed you guys, because right here it just literally goes to nothing. <laughs> Once I get all this slabbed out and cleaned up, then finally, 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 I will actually be moving on to building somewhat of a house structure. So in order of everything, I have this to these flowers to set up, finish kind of terraforming all of this turn everything underneath all of this, slab it up, make it nice. And then finally, I am going to build right here. I think I'm clearly I got to fix this situation, um, but I think I'm going to make a little bit of a platform, dig back into the mountain, and I'm going to make my little house right here, which we will wind up to through the inside. We will wind up to get up there to a house with kind of this little bit of a hot mess situation <laughs> that I've started to lay out really awfully. Um, this, I think my thought and idea here was to make this a huge storage area where I am actually going to be chopping all of this back. Um, and just doing tinted glass so you can't see necessarily into it that great from out there. But I'll be able to see out, kind of start creating my storage. Obviously, it's going to be much bigger than this. There might be a few layers. I'll dig through to the other side of the mountain. I'm not 100% sure on that yet. Um, lots of plans. I clearly still need to uh, address this situation because this is all not going to stay dirt. I'm going to turn it to crying obsidian like that and regular obsidian possibly make all of this just a little nicer and then i cut myself off but this little path eventually will trail up and get me up on top of the mountain kind of making a path up this way however this is entirely waterlogged in here um, so I got to figure out, oh, you know, making it real difficult on myself. I got to figure out how to kind of get that whole situation set up, which is why this huge chunk of dirt is there. But yeah, I'm most excited for the barn because I've got a lot of these guys that <laughs> need a place to go. They're all named and loved, so they definitely need a spot to chill. And then I immediately ignore everything I say I need to do and am going to focus on to sidestep to a project of making a pond over this naturally generated little floating island. And eventually I return back to my project list.
so a lot of work off camera later and here are the final shots of everything that I guess where everything kind of is right now I fixed the flowers and we created this river running into a pond that you see on a live stream I'll throw it in an iCard here so much more to do but finally making some substantial progress But that is where I'm going to end this episode. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next Holocraft SMP episode where we will be building my house, hopefully my house situation, right behind my head over there. And I cannot wait for that because we're going to be about seven or eight episodes in. I still don't have a place to live. I'm still just sleeping right here on this bed out in the open. But again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!